viewers all over the world appreciate you all for following the series of prophecy towards the new nigeria i want you to be rest assured by the word of the lord that this year the new nigeria will be born by the grace of god i said it in february 10 that the new Nigeria will be born this year. History is about to change. A new history is about to be born. What has never happened before in Nigeria history is about to happen. You, the Lord said you will see a scenario where the president-elect will not be sworn in you are also going to see a scenario where the certificate of the president elect will be withdrawn this is going to come to pass you will see it you will testify in fact the lord assured me this morning you are going to see it it will come to pass the lord gave me an anchor word in isaiah 43 verse 18 and 19. in verse 18 he says remember ye not the former things neither consider the things of old forgot about the old order the old order is not going to manifest in this new order in verse 19 say behold i will do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and river in the desert something that looks impossible is about to happen something that has never happened before in the history of Nigeria, it's about to happen. We are about to see a scenario where the president-elect will not be sworn in. We are about to see a scenario where the certificate will be withdrawn from the president-elect. This is the new thing that is about to happen. Rivers in the desert, way in the wilderness. It's impossible, but God said he is the God that specializes in impossibility. The two things I told you before we go to today's prophecy, I want you to be rest assured that they will surely come to pass. This is not a conditional prophecy. It is going to come to pass. Today's prophecy is two prophecy combined in one two separate prophecy the first one is about the events that will take place in the judiciary before and after 29th of may 2023 i repeat the events that will happen in the judiciary before and after 29th of May 2023. The second prophecy is the prophecy that GROV will override Sawolu in Lagos State. You will see it, it will come to pass. This is the prophecy given to me by God. Now, let us go to the first prophecy. The first prophecy is about events that will happen in the judiciary. Many of you are afraid about the judiciary, but I want you to be rest assured that God is in control. God gave me several words of events that will happen in the judiciary number one 
event that you are going to see happening in the judiciary is that the judiciary will divide. The Lord said, the judiciary will divide. There will be division into two parts in the judiciary. Some side for light, some side for darkness. But the Lord said, over time as the case go on, that the percentage of light will increase. The percentage of light will increase while the darkness will decrease. The Lord said that light in the judiciary is going to override darkness. Light is going to override darkness. In fact, I can use the word light will overshadow darkness. You will see it it will come to pass. Light will override darkness because there will be enough evidence, enough facts in the judiciary. This fact is going to illuminate the mind of darkness. This light, this fact is the light that will illuminate the mind of darkness. The second one the Lord said to me is that the judiciary will divide into truth and falsehood. Some part for truth, some part for falsehood. But the Lord said the percentage of truth will increase as the case go on. And the Lord said the truth will supersede darkness. The truth will supersede falsehood. Truth is going to supersede falsehood in this case between it will be and but you will see it it will come to pass it will manifest it's going to come to pass you are going to see it the lord said that the case is going to become tougher and tougher the case is going to become tougher and tougher but the lord gave me a word he said some person or person we insist on darkness he said person or persons that insist on darkness will be under cause i repeat person or persons that insist on darkness in the judiciary will be under cause and the lord said this cause will transfer to their children, 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 up to fourth generation. This is very sudden. When I heard this, I was not happy because I would not like a child to suffer the consequence of sin of the father. This is the cause, this is the consequence of any judiciary that insist on darkness the cause will be upon any judiciary that insist on darkness this cause will affect the children 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 up to fourth generation it's a terrible thing to fall into the hand of the almighty because the hand of the lord is upon this nation and one of the instruments that God uses to judge the wicked is to curse the wicked. God lay curse on Adam and Eve. It is one of the tools that God uses to punish the wicked. So if you are a judiciary and you insist on darkness, you will be on that curse up to your fourth generation. What an abomination for such a person. The Lord said to me that the 
speak, the lawyers of it will be we become stronger and stronger. We work stronger and stronger. Why the lawyers or advocate of that will become weaker and weaker, weaker and weaker. He gave me an anchor word. I will read the anchor word for you now. He gave me an anchor word in the book of Samuel. Samuel, Second Samuel, chapter three, verse one. I will read it. He said, "Now there was long war between the house of Saul and the house of David." But David works stronger and stronger, and the house of Saul works weaker and weaker. The highest prophecy is the Bible. What you are seeing here is what is about to happen in the judiciary. The Lord said that these sons or the advocates or the lawyers, the lawyers of Peter B, will become stronger and stronger why the lawyers of of bats will become weaker and weaker this case will become tougher and tougher this case will become tougher and tougher suddenly crisis will pop up there will be a popping up of crisis i'm still praying to god preserve life O oh Lord, preserve life in this crisis. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel death of the innocent. In Jesus' name, there will be crisis as the case is going on. And then the military, as I said, will intervene into this matter. After the military has intervened to bring peace, the interim government will come. This interim government is not a plan work. It is an emergency government to address the situation on ground. You will see it. It will come to pass. You will testify. Interim government will come in. Why the case proceed? The case continue. As the case continue during the interim government, the Lord said, the case will become tougher and tougher. The legal battle in the judiciary become tougher and tougher. And you will begin to see a scenario in the judiciary where but we begin to lose and lose. And it will be lawyer we gain momentum and it will be we begin to gain, win, and win. Suddenly, it will be will win the case. The court is going to also ensure peace through their decision making. The court will also ensure that politically the situation is stable and there is a serene condition. You will see it, it will come to pass. And the court will declare Obi as the winner of 2023 presidential election. You are going to see it. It will come to pass. Then Buhari have no option than to support the court. Buhari will support the judiciary. Whatever decision the judiciary will make is what Buhari is going to support. If by the time the judiciary declare that Obi won, Buhari will support. And other stakeholders will support. And Obi will become the president of Nigeria. Now, during this period, but we also go to court. You are going to see a scenario when but we go to court. But the Lord said that he will be downgraded. The Lord said that but will be downgraded. You will see it 
it will come to pass. He will be downgraded. No need for him. That's why I said he would have even resigned from this presidential race and go home and rest because judiciary, he will, he will also fire back to court and judiciary will downgrade him based on the evidence and facts on ground. You will see it, it will come to pass. Now, the second prophecy, the second prophecy is GROV will override Sowolu. I said it in June 24th that Sowolu will win. He won. But I said it in March 17th that you should expect GROV override Sowolu. And I gave condition. And the Lord is still reminding me that GROV will override Sowolu. You will see what has not happened before in Lagos State. I saw a vision of jubilation where GROV sits on the seat of Sowolu. It will come to pass. You will see jubilation everywhere. Jubilation everywhere. The Lord said this case will be a case of David Key Goliath. That's what the Lord said, not me. That this case will be a case of David Kid Goliath. An admonition for GROV is to trust totally in God, continue to work hard, pursue the case, and the people praying for him, continue praying. Don't relent. God bless you as we cheer towards the new Nigeria. The Lord bless you. Have a nice day. God bless you viewers all over the world. In Jesus' name.